Hey guys, Retro Reviews here again with another Power Rangers Megazord video review, and this time I'm reviewing the Dragon Zord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, this is the sixth Ranger Zord. This is the Green Dragon Zord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, who it belonged to Tommy. And it's a very basic toy. It's a big toy, big hefty toy, but it's very just plain and basic. I mean, well, he's got some nice chrome here and nice chrome on the chest plate, which is very, very reflective, and you can even see my camera in it and a little bit of my head. Yeah, other than that, it's really cool. And uh, articulation, he doesn't have much. I mean, you can say that he can rotate himself up forward. And you can bend his legs in at the knees. But then that makes his legs kind of bow inwards. So, there's that. And then his arms have like a limp handshake wrist movement that they can do. And then his mouth has a spring in it, so that way when you push it up, it comes down, like, automatically. And some detail. He's got a lot of... He's mostly black. And then he's got gray here and there. The silver paint on the chest plate. He's got this rubber horn off the back of his head. His eyes are actually red, if you can see that. They are actually red. Yeah, very nice. And uh, come around here, and I do not have a battery cover for this one. I got it for cheap. Uh, and there's this little switch right here. And there's, one says off, one says on. It's obviously off right now, but if you switch it over to on, the chest lights up and it makes a uh, noise. Yep. Let's quit that. So there, that's the uh, Dragon Zord. And now he can do one of two combinations. You can do one where, uh, where he combines with the Saber Tooth Tiger, the Triceratops, and the Mastodon. And this is going to do the Dragon Zord in fighting mode. So what we want to do to start off the uh, Dragon Zord in fighting mode is we take off the tail. And we separate it in half to get the chest plate out of the way. And clip it back together. And then we fold up the hands inside. And straighten up the legs. Fold those down so you can open up those door panels and slide it up. And then you take the side pieces and clip them together to form the chest. And for right now, that's it. I'm going by the show's way of doing it and not the, uh, not any other way. So then what we do is we take the mastodon, we take off his head again. And we put the Mastodon into arms mode, which is open it up like that, and rotate around the arms. And there we go. And then there's these two black pieces that will clip onto the back, and I think it uses these. No, it uses both clips, I think, on the sides. So then, what you just do is you just slide it in just like that and clip it around and then you come under here and you pull down his mouth to reveal the face and then you take the these two and you fold up their bar it's like this and like that and then you just fold them up and then, just like the Tyrannosaurus with the uh, 
red bits on the inside just clips in just like that and there we have the dragon sword in fighting mode now I gotta put this away because there's like no use for it ever again and then you can take the other bits I don't have the uh, base for the spear or the staff whatever you want to call it but you could take these bits and there's this piece right here that will go into the tail and then it'd stay in there and it makes like a really big drill which would look cool if I had the rest of the parts but uh, what you gonna do you see just like that so that's it for that and uh, a good look at his head he kind of has now like this weird visor which looks like Aka Reds from the Super Sentai series, actually. Alright. And now there's no red because the visor of this sword makes the eyes for the dragon sword, which I can't get my... I can't get it through, so... Pretty cool. This is my favorite mode, however. My favorite mode is with the Megazord. Let's get my Tyrannosaurus and Pterodactyl. And let's take apart this. And uh, set him off to the side. Let's get the Megazord combined back together. Oh, and also I forgot to mention this. It doesn't matter which way you put the legs in because they still work the same either way. That's just, you're supposed to have it so the uh, saber tooth tiger goes on one leg and the triceratops goes on the left. Real quick, let's get him into Megazord mode. And set him off to the side. Now what we do from here is now we can come back and push up his head. And then open up the chest plate. And split him in half. Come under here and there's these two clips. You fold them out. And he's done for right now. Come back to the Megazord. Fold in the horns and fold down the shoulder pads. And then you take the green dragon sword and it just clips over, and the clips that we folded out from underneath are snapped on over the arms of the Mastodon. You still move his arms, but he doesn't have the full rotation. You can move them all the way forward and all the way back now, but he can't do anything else. This looks really good. I wish I didn't have the Americans stickers because the lightning bolts all over it just look really annoying and stupid. Personally, but including these really big ones here on his shoulders. But hey, it works. It's I got it for cheap and I'm planning on getting rubber label sticker sheets for all my Zords soon. So yeah, there it is, the, uh, this is the, uh, Mega Dragon Zord, now, and he could fire these as rockets in the show, and then he can use, like, a supercharged beam where these two would form, like, these orbs of energy, and they would form at the circle, and then spin and attack the enemy. Yep, yeah, that's it for the Dragon Zord. And I hope you guys like this video review. And like I said before, I've got plenty more Power Ranger reviews coming up. And I hope you stay tuned and watch those. And I will see you guys next time.